Welcome fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today is a special day. The weather outside is beautiful. The sun shining. Spring's right around the corner. Everybody's getting energized. It's our one year anniversary celebration. And last but not least, today we get to honor our newest competent communicator and our vice president of membership, Tom Clark, for completing his competent communicator manual. Now this is an important accomplishment in the Toastmasters journey. It is the first manual in the communication track. And as many of you know, who are either working through your Confident Communicator Manual or have finished your Confident Communicator Manual, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication and commitment. And it starts with becoming a member of the Toastmasters. Anytime there is a commitment involved, it takes a little bit of apprehension. So Almost that's one of the hardest steps, you become a member. Then you set specific goals. In this case, the goal would be to finish your Confident Communicator Manual. Thirdly, you put together a plan to realize those goals. And fourth, the other most difficult part is executing the plan and realizing your goals. So what does the Confident Communicator really mean? It represents a level of achievement in Toastmasters it basically says you've reached the first tier of becoming an effective public speaker. The Competent Communicator Manual is comprised of 10 speeches, 10 projects. The first one being the icebreaker, which is the first formal opportunity for you to give a presentation in front of a club, introduce yourself to the club, get a feel for what it's like, all the way through the inspiring your audience speech, speech number 10. And speech number 10 combines all the speeches in between, where each speech has a very specific purpose as to what you're trying to learn to become an effective speaker. Now, each member has their own strength, strengths and weaknesses, and once the competent communicator certificate is obtained, does not mean that everybody's on the same playing field, but it does mean that you've learned the basics through a workshop-style environment of how to effectively give a present, public presentation. It also means that you've overcome your weaknesses and you've reinforced your strengths. Now my perception of Tom is that he is a very natural and gifted public speaker. He's always calm and po poised at the podium. He uses his verbal pauses especially well to communicate his point. And he's just overall very charismatic up, up here. And it really makes you feel welcome and captures your interest as he's given his presentation. And the Competent Communicator Manual has helped you reinforce those, those good natural public speaking traits. And by completing the Competent Communicator Manual, it'll serve as a foundation for you to further pursue more advanced manuals in the, in the Toastmasters program and other opportunities in your career. And speaking of careers and opportunities, Tom was just recently promoted to senior engineer within Consumer Energy, and I have no doubt that his active participation in the Toastmasters program has complemented his technical skills nicely and served him well in that promotion. So Tom, I'd like to congratulate you on your accomplishment of receiving the Competent Communicator Award, and I look forward to your advanced speeches in the Rising Stars Club as we work towards our terrible two. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please help me welcome competent communicator Tom Clark. <clears throat> As part of, in addition to the certificate, he also gets a pen. Maybe while you guys are doing that, can you look here? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Stuff. Well, thank you very much, Matt, for that very elaborate and descriptive explanation of the journey, which I think is really helpful. And I want to thank all of the members of the Rising Stars Toastmasters Club. We say it a lot that a Toastmasters Club is only as good as its members. And I have to say that I think we have one of the best clubs. All of the members in the club are great listeners 
who offer different insights into pieces of the speeches that I've given and certainly that others have given as well so that we can implement simple improvements, we can catch those um, isms, if you will, that we drop into our speeches, our hesitations, and really work to improve our speeches. So my thanks to everyone in this room who has contributed to my journey and my improvements in public speaking. Now, I especially want to thank Joy. And I want to thank Joy because I've known about Toastmasters for a while. I had read about it online and learned a bit about the Toastmasters program long before the Rising Stars were even a twinkle in Joy's eye. <laughs> and I always struggled with the fact that the only clubs that I could participate in were located downtown. And I remember it couldn't have been two months before Joy started plastering uh, Parnell with lots of posters saying that we were going to try and start a club. About two months before that, I was talking to my wife and I said, you know, I really think I'm just, I'm just going to have to drive downtown. I'm just going to have to start driving downtown to go to these meetings so that I can really work on my public speaking. And then sure enough, Joy stepped in and has done a great job leading the club for the last year, put in a lot of effort to get it up on and off the ground. And so a special thank you to you for that. Now, I got into Toastmasters right at the beginning, as we were discussing a little earlier. And in December of 2010, I gave my first speech, and it went really smooth. It was really good speech. And I thought, yeah, this, this isn't so bad. But Toastmasters presented a challenge to me that I hadn't previously encountered. And that was the fact that it truly is a completely self-paced development program. And sure, I went to college. I, I put forth the effort to you know, fill out my applications and go to the orientations and sign up for classes. And I went to class on a regular basis. But I've never had to set my own deadlines and force myself to meet my own deadlines. In high school, in college, you're always presented with, this is when your test is going to be, this is when your homework assignment is due. Never had I been presented with a situation where I had to truly self-motivate myself and work my way through this program. And so the competent communicator really is evidence of both an improvement in my ability to give speeches, public speeches, but it also is a representation of a, a side development, a sub-development, if you will, that Toastmasters has put, given me, which is the ability to truly set goals and achieve those goals without anyone else saying, hey, you really, you really got to get this done. And so I want to thank Toastmasters, obviously, for the program. I want to thank joy for her starting this club which has been extremely helpful to me in my career development and mostly I want to thank all of the members of the Rising Stars Toastmasters Club congratulations on one year and thanks for all of the very helpful feedback that I have received over the last 10 speeches and year and a half of enjoyable public speaking opportunities Thank you. And timer if we could have